Nations to choose the next leadership. Kevin Mutai has been uh, following up that uh, week-long induction and is now joining us uh, live for more. Kevin, a very good afternoon to you. Tell us uh, what is happening from Mombasa with regard to this uh, uh, Council of Governors uh, first meeting. Uh, good afternoon to you, Zainab. Right now, the governors have uh, uh, gone for an indoor session where we believe uh, that uh, uh, the election of uh, the leadership of the Council of Governors is currently going on. We are not aware of the methodology, the methodology that uh, they are using because uh, two days ago we had uh, that most of them were fronting uh, uh, to use uh, election, I mean, consensus by way of electing the chairman or the chairperson of uh, the COG. But again, uh, some of the governors wanted a sick ballot uh, for the same exercise. So as of now, the governors have retreated uh, being the third and the final day of uh, the induction workshop that has been going on here in Mombasa. But uh, on Wednesday, when the Deputy President, Rigatika Shagwa, uh, came to grace the opening of this session, uh, rallied the governors to uh, conduct a peaceful election of uh, the leadership of the, uh, uh, the COG. But again, uh, Gashagwa uh, stating uh, that uh, the government will not rally behind any uh, candidate. Uh, just to quote what he said, uh, that uh, buffaloes work together not because that they like each other, but it's because of protection. And therefore, uh, Gashagwa stating that uh, the executive is ready to work with whoever uh, they will elect to uh, lead the COG. But as of now, we know that two contenders uh, for that position, being uh, Kriyaga Governor Anne Waiguru and her counterpart from uh, Kajado, that is Joseph Olelenku. And there has been a fierce lobbying for the two uh, governors, especially from uh, both uh, political formations, that's Kenya Kwanza and uh, Azimio. Kenya Kwanza rallying behind uh, Anne Waiguru and, as, of course, also Azimio lobbying for Joseph Olelenko. Uh, there's been an intense campaign for the two, uh, but right now what we know is that they have all retreated to a, a private session where they uh, expected to come out probably in the next pro uh, 30 minutes and uh, thereafter we'll be able to know who uh, will uh, be uh, leading the COG as well as the more than uh, 15 other committees under the Council of Governors. Remember, uh, there are three main dockets that they've been talking about that are key to the current uh, administration, one being the health uh, docket, there's also education agriculture and of course also finance and economic planning uh, with uh, some of the governors really uh, lobbying to uh, chair those particular committees at the Council of Governors. But right now uh, what we know is that uh, they are in a closed door session. Uh, I've just seen uh, Tana River Governor Dadu Gudana is already out. We don't know yet if uh, they are done with that closed door session and we'll be able to speak uh, to uh, the uh, governors as soon as they come out. I'm not sure if uh, he'll be able to say a word about it but any, uh, anyway, uh, Zainab, just to also conclude before I uh, hand it over back to you, it is also worth noting that the IEBC commissioners have also been in this facility uh, conducting uh, a meeting. And a while ago, we just saw the four dissenting commissioners uh, at the commission led by the deputy chairperson, uh, uh, Cherera. They just walked out, and what we understand right now is that they were in a separate holding room uh, from that of uh, one that is being led by the chairperson, uh, Wafula Chebuka. So we really don't know what's happening within the commission, but we'll be digging deeper uh, to get uh, uh, more information regarding the meeting that has been going on here in Mombasa. And of course, also we'll be coming back to you with more details regarding the expected uh, election of uh, the uh, leadership of the COG. We're expecting the President William Ruto to come and grace the closure of this event. Uh, but as of now, we understand that he will not uh, be able to come uh, with reports indicating that he has sent uh, one of his close confidants, and that is the National Assembly speaker uh, Moses Wetangula to come uh, to close this event but as, as of now we're still following closely on uh, the events that are currently unfolding uh, and the voting exercise and we'll be back with more updates in our subsequent bulletins that 7 and 9 p.m.